In this video we'll look at the Pro Slider element. We're creating a testimonial slider that auto-scrolls across the page. We'll first add in our Pro Slider element. By default, there's two slides. Any content inside can be edited directly and any elements can be added. We can scroll along the slider to edit the slides. We can add new slides from the structure panel. Or from the settings. When creating content sliders, the height doesn't need to be set, it's based on the content of the slides. All we need to configure is the widths. We can choose the number of slides that will show at any breakpoint. Or we can manually set a width. And we can add a gap between each slide. Instead of adding the slides manually, we can use the query loop to pull in some slides dynamically. We have a testimonial post type. So we can use the query loop feature to populate the slider. Let's set the query loop to fetch our posts. Now we have our slides. We can use the dynamic tags to get the data from the testimonials. The featured image is the profile image. Let's first style the image. We have a custom field for the job title. And another one for the quote. The quote is the most important, so let's make it larger. We'll remove the background and view on the front end. Now we have our basic slider. Let's change the widths across different breakpoints. We'll start with three slides.
We can change the inner spacing and layout for all slides from the slider settings. We'll align it at the top, so all of the images are level. And adjust the spacing on the individual elements where needed. We need to increase the gap. We can change it to two slides for tablets and one for mobile. Now we have a responsive slider. Let's make the slider go full width instead. First we need to change the container width to 100%. We'll also loop the slider so we don't run out of slides. It's now full width, but the slides are too wide. For this situation, it makes more sense to set a fixed width for the slides. We can change the width to a percentage to make sure it's still responsive. We'll remove the dots and set the slider to auto scroll. And there we have our testimonial slider.